Miami enters its 35th season with a fresh outlook. We all been working out hard this whole summer, so it's time to bring it together. Middle, 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 middle. Yeah, yeah. Make some shots, make shots, make shots. Reshaping with young talent. Welcome to Miami. I think it's a perfect fit for me right now. It's beautiful. I love it. It was a summer spent focused on future generations. It ain't about me, it's about y'all. You could change one or two kids' lives by one camp. I feel honored to get to know every single one of you guys. Struce is loose on three. One, two, three. On media day, the captain took us on his final adventure. Welcome to the UD show. <clears throat> we can't do it again. It was already authentic. I've been practicing all summer. This is the UD show, man. I get to say what I want to say. For the team, it's a singular focus while running it back. The biggest thing that we're talking about is the opportunity to go after this again. The main thing is the main thing, and that's to be able to compete for a title. Inside the Heat, the tip-off special. Connected on three. One, two, three. Connected. Connected. Welcome, everyone, to the 35th season of Miami Heat basketball and to Inside the Heat. And hello again, everyone. I'm Eric Reed, beginning my 35th season with the Heat as well. On this episode of Inside the Heat, we're going to show you how the Heat spent their summer, share our exclusive conversation with head coach Eric Spolstra, and we'll all go behind the scenes on Media Day. But first, a quick look back to last season. After securing the top seed in the East, reaching the conference finals for the second time in three years, and then ending the season one shot and one game short of the NBA Finals. That heartbreak added fuel to an already focused and determined team. And the process, to be even better, began in the offseason. A terrific season ends at home in Game 7 for Miami. We look forward to the opportunity of getting better. We're going to be right back in the same situation and uh, we're going to get it done. It's clear that he will do everything they can to improve. The Heat hope to get better in tonight's NBA draft. With the 27th pick, the Miami Heat select Nikola Jovic from Belgrade, Serbia. He's considered to be the top international prospect. I'm always competitive guy, so I always try to win. And I think it's a perfect fit for me right now. What's up, Heat Nation? I just landed in Miami, and I'm ready to work. Nicola, Andy Ellsberg, GM of Miami Heat. Welcome to Miami. Great to have you here. Hey, what's going on? Welcome. Yeah, yeah nice congratulations. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, really. Yeah, it's a pleasure for you to be here. His overall game shows versatility. We like that. Now, how far it's going to go is going to be dependent on, on Nick. Can I call you Nick? Yeah. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> Here's the locker room right here. Damn. Yo. Yo. It's beautiful. I love it. I never thought something like this was going to happen. Seeing my name on a jersey is just unbelievable. Walking down the, this hallway, seeing all those pictures with the championships, you want to work. These are all the championship teams right now. This was our first. You never forget these moments. It's just a dream come true. While Nicola's NBA dream began, others continued. The Heat stroll in the free agency, bringing back Dwayne Dedman. The team also re with Caleb Martin. Victor Oladipo staying with the Heat. The biggest goal for me is to show everyone that I'm healthy and also that I'm one of the best players in this league. One player reached a milestone. The Heat Nation is your cap. We got a message for you. See y'all next year. Udonis Haslam becomes just the third player in NBA history to spend 20 seasons with a single franchise. We want him to be in this organization as long as he wants to be. My one goal is continue my leadership role with the Miami Heat and take it to another level, the highest level. As the team enjoyed their offseason, basketball was still on display in the Heat's house as the Miami Heat's official youth development camp tipped off. Yes, sir. Uh, my dog, bro. Appreciate you, bro. When I was young, I didn't really get to go to camps and be uh, associated with NBA players and stuff like that, so it's a great opportunity for them and, and us as well. It's been amazing, like, seeing their enthusiasm and, like, that energy. They just always give you a fresh perspective. You just try to encourage them to, you know, continue to have big dreams. Junior Heat was the place to be this summer, but it wasn't all just fun and games. 
heat camp teaches us a lot, and it makes me better as a basketball player and a person. How are you? When you think about heat culture and the things we like to teach here, it's work ethic, it's accountability, it's being goal-driven. You can apply these things to all walks of life and be successful. Some Heat players took that approach a step further, hosting their own personal camps. It ain't about me, it's about y'all. It ain't about me, it's about y'all. So across, step back, shot. Struce is loose on three. One, two, three. Max Struce fulfilled a longtime goal with his inaugural camp, benefiting a local Illinois foundation that uplifts young adults and teens battling cancer. I've dreamed about doing this since I was little. For you guys to be part of the first ever Max Truce basketball camp, you guys should feel honored. I feel honored to get to know every single one of you guys. And Ban Adebayo got to know over 250 kids at his annual camp, which raises funds for single mothers and helps pay the way for campers who cannot afford it. You never know what they're going through. You could change one or two kids' lives by one camp. One, two, three, together! Stay right where you are for more of our tip-off special. Up next, we take you to Summer League to get to know some of the new faces trying to make their way to the NBA. Make shots, make shots. Then we go behind the scenes on Media Day. Welcome to the UD Show. I got it. I got it. And a little later, I sit down with Heat head coach Eric Spolstra in an exclusive interview about the upcoming season. There's something special about this locker room. Guys are not staying stagnant. You are watching Inside the Heat on Valley Sports Sun. Welcome back to Inside the Heat, the tip off special. In the off season, a vital part of the team's growth includes traveling out west to Sacramento and Las Vegas to participate in the NBA's Summer League. And there, it's all about grooming young talent, like our first round draft pick, Nikola Jovic, finding developmental players or seeing who would emerge among players already on the Heat roster. With Heat assistant coach Malik Allen once again in charge, these few weeks were dedicated to developing the next wave of Miami Heat players. The beginning of a new season is the beginning of a new chapter, and some of the first pages were written during the offseason at Summer League. Here we go. Here we go. I do like the way we're coming together. You know, we had, we had a good session this morning. One mil. One mil. We have a little bit more older group this year than we had last, so, you know, Javante, Mike, and, and, and H. Make some shots, make shots, make shots. We're kind of just riding them as, as sort of, you know, to drive the leadership. Yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike. Feet on three, one, two, three. Hey. Hey. Although the Heat dropped two out of three games in the first leg of Summer League, several players stepped up and showcased their moves, including rookie Nikola Jovic. My goal is just to gain more experience. You know, with coaches, with whole team, with play style, with everything. So I'm just, I think the summer league will help me a lot with the experience stuff. For part two of summer league, the Heat traveled to Las Vegas, Nevada for five games. Some familiar faces made their way to the desert as well to support and work out with their younger teammates. One of the players who catapulted from that support was Haywood Highsmith, averaging double figures in Summer League. I'm just trying to get better each day, taking the right steps for me as far as my development. Um, I feel like Summer League has been an opportunity for me just to just grow, become more of a leader as well. Highsmith. Highsmith, that was beautiful Haywood. offensive rebound. Jamari Bouye, Jamal Kane, Darius Days, Marcus Garrett, and Orlando Robinson all proved themselves worthy during Summer League and would be with the Heat for training camp. After a long offseason, it was time to get the band back together with a tropical twist as the Heat touched down in the Bahamas for training camp. Just touched down in the Bahamas, at the Bahama. I got my now later. You already know what it is. We're super grateful to be here at Bahama in the Bahamas. It's a super cool experience, a way for us to uh, really connect and bond with the upcoming season. Starting yesterday it was about business. You know, it's about the team. It's about you know get to the to the goal of you know, winning the championship. Forward jog, switch the backwards at half, all the way to the other end. We all been working out hard this whole summer, so it's time to bring it together. You know, it's off site. It's a different scenery, different vibe, and you know, giving guys a different opportunity to get a different change of pace. 
Head coach Eric Spolstra missed the first day of training camp, but made his way to Bahamar on day two after welcoming the newest member of the Heat family. Spent all the time, you know, with the family the last couple days, and then was able to take a flight here and spend today with my Heat family. A lot of guys that have really prepared this offseason and have come into this camp with the right friend of mine in shape uh, and ready to compete. You know, we have that saying all the time, iron shot comes iron, and, and we're already seeing that. It's been fun. We've been uh, very competitive, and guys are getting after it. While he was the new kid on the block last training camp, Max Struess has proved himself to be one of the leaders this time around. You set it for Vic, and then you go get Vic. I got, I got ball. I got, you got ball, Vic. You got ball, Vic. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Hello to the Struess family. I uh, just want to say what's up. I'm taking care of Max during training camp. Middle, 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 middle. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, you got middle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All in all, it was a successful training camp with Coach Spo always making sure to keep the concept of teamwork at the center of it. There's a, a few boxes we're trying to check. Obviously, the connection, the collaboration, learning how to bring out the best in each other. Once you embrace that, all of this is bigger than each one of us, and you can really connect the dots on that concept, you can find some more purpose and gratification out of great team basketball. Connected on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Next on Inside the Heat, go behind the scenes on Media Day with the captain. It's your cap right here, the OG. Let's get up. Let's get it going. Let's go, baby. Then stay with us as Coach Spolstra gives you his take on what to expect from the team in the season ahead. The biggest thing we're talking about is the opportunity to go after this again. You are watching Inside the Heat, the tip-off special on Valley Sports Sun. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. You know, it's been a tradition around here to take Heat Nation behind the scenes on Media Day, which is the unofficial beginning of every season. Of course, it's a day when players talk to the media and get their pictures taken. They also record a series of elements that are used throughout the year on TV and in arena. But the highlight is this. In his historic 20th season, Heat captain Udonis Haslam has once again let Inside the Heat tag along for the ninth and final edition of the UD Show. What's happening, happy people? It's UD Show number nine, year 20. Last one. We're gonna have fun. There ain't gonna be no sad times, it's gonna be a happy time, so come on for the ride. Let's do it. Yo, what's up, man? It's your cat right here, the OG. Let's get up. Let's get it going. Let's go, baby. I have a tremendous opportunity to do something that not very many have done, play 20 years in the NBA for the same organization. Once I step into this arena, there's a switch. Can I hit? This is Valley Sports Sun, home of the Heat. The NBA is on total play. Get ready. I'm Udonis Haslam of the Miami Heat. Listen to our games here, AM 560 Sports. This is where my path has led me. You know, every year I just put my head down, focus on doing the right things. You know, this is where it's brought me to. the UD show. And hey, welcome everybody, the new people. I appreciate y'all for being a part of my last year. I enjoy having fun. It doesn't look like I like to have fun when you watch me on the basketball court, but I actually enjoy having fun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is the UD show, man. I get to say what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, you damn right I got my own show. Yeah, come over here. I got the, I got the pretty boys with me today. Kayla, come on, you gonna be on my show. You do a great job of finding hidden gems out here. I mean, I get to bring them to y'all first. There he is. I got some hot smiths in my family. Related? No, well, like I didn't say that. No? I got some hot smiths in my family. I'm going to check the family tree. We might be related, but I get back to y'all. There's only one player on this team besides me that was playing with the San Antonio Spurs for Summer League and end up signing with the Miami Heat. My favorite player on the team. I know y'all think I love Bam, but Bam get on my damn nerves. My favorite <laughs> player on the team is Ashley Duncan. Oh, I said that. You're my favorite on, too, on, on the damn camera. Who do you think can fill your shoes? Um, uh, nobody. But you had to choose somebody. Only person got to gift the gab as good as me is Jax. It's time to ball, y'all. You can't use Jax. America, this is this this is the guy who hosted the show last year when the ratings was the worst they ever been. Today I am hosting the Anchor Bam show. Anchor Bam? Yeah, Anchor Bam. Jimmy, say what's up to the camera. Why do you have that little camera? What is that? 
it's, it's history. It's, it's our memories. And this is why they paid me triple to come back this year. Let's go. See you guys there. Yay! We can't do it again. It was already authentic. Right, somebody build a donut and put it back. Who <laughs> bit that donut and put it back in the box? I got a problem with somebody on this set. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Is these some trick candles? Because they ain't going out. No, no. <laughs> you didn't give me enough time, so that's your fault. I've been practicing all summer. I got it. I got it. I will be. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Finest 42 year old out here. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. All the love. I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna still be around. Y'all might see me more now than y'all did see me before. So get ready for the next phase of evolution. You never know what I might be doing next. UD Show, signing out. Coming up, Coach Bolstra and I preview the 35th Miami Heat season. The main thing is the main thing, right? Be able to compete for a title. Our exclusive conversation is next on Inside the Heat. Welcome back to Inside the Heat, the tip-off special. In his 15th season as head coach, Eric Spolstra, one of the longest tenured and most respected coaches in the NBA. With his team finishing last season one win away from the NBA Finals, they enter this season with a collective chip on their shoulder and with one goal in mind, running it back with most of their roster intact. Spo knows both the assets he has and the challenges that lie ahead. And as always, he and his staff are ready, and we discuss that. Coach, you got a locker room full of great competitors. Your veteran point guard coming back, Kyle Lowry, and of course, Bam Adebayo, who keeps raising that, that ceiling. We have a lot of ambitious, talented players. And in my opinion, you need a championship level Hall of Fame point guard to be able to help players be efficient. Lowry fakes the three into the paint for Bam, kabam! Bam just continues uh, to reinvent his ceiling. And that's been his nickname, you know, since he's been here, was uh, no ceiling. It's all about winning, you know, for him. He's proven it uh, with our franchise. Of course, the leader of the group, Jimmy Butler, who has already established himself as one of the great players in Heat history and one of the top playoff players in Heat history. What Jimmy does, as well as anybody uh, in the history of this game, is as a competitor, he will rise to the occasion. Dribbles to the paint, floats up a one-hander and hits. Playoff Jimmy time. The more at stake, uh, the more it's going to bring out the best in them, then the more he brings out the best in his teammates. You know, he really is a, a transformational type competitor. One of the more compelling stories for the Miami Heat, the Victor Oladipo story. What are you expecting out of this healthy version of Victor Oladipo that's coming back? I just really admire his character and his fortitude. This offseason has been really key for him. It's really the first offseason that he's had an opportunity to train. I think you're going to see a much different Victor Oladipo. It's a blessing just to be able to, to, to play, pick up. <laughs> you know, I'm thankful to be back. I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. A couple of guys that joined the team last year are back. Caleb Martin and Dwayne Dedman. I wish we could come up with a, a great nickname for Caleb. He plays with just such contagious passion. Martin has it! Martin slams it! He's a capable scorer, a guy that can fill in a lot of different gaps for you and play a lot of different roles. And Dwayne is physical, and that physicality is felt. Decks the rim. Uh, he's a great communicator. It's tough to find guys like him that contribute in, in a lot of different roles. Another ignitable player in that heat lock room is Tyler Hero. Six, 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 six. What kind of season are you expecting from Tyler? Tyler, right now, is, is one of the most skilled basketball players uh, in this league. He can manipulate defenses, he can score at all three levels, uh, and then he really improved as a playmaker. I don't want to put a ceiling on Tyler either. He's going to continue to grow and, and help us win. Folks in Heat Nation already well aware of the pride the organization takes in both discovering 
and then developing players that go undrafted. Two of the most recent examples, Max Struess, Gabe Vincent. Max is a, a, a great story. He has a lot of grit and a lot of perseverance, and he's really worked at uh, carving out a role. Because of his work ethic, because of that perseverance, that role ends up growing. Max comes to battle every single day, not just in the games. He's talking about getting extra work in. He's always in the mix. And Gabe is really unique for somebody that's come into the league as an undrafted guy, as a former two-way player. He's inspiring, right, when he's flying around and diving on the floor, taking charges. Gabe Vincent, the definition of doing it all. Duncan Robinson's still the only player in franchise history to have made 200 threes in three different seasons, including last year. I will say this every year. Duncan Robinson uh, is in that conversation of best shooters on this planet, period. And even if he's not shooting, the gravity that he creates is one of the top in this association. Mr. 305 says once more with feeling. Udonis Haslam will come back for his 20th heat season. Coach, I know you're ready to smile. You, you got your captain back. Everybody knows how I feel about UD. I want to continue to have this conversation, you know, for even more years uh, about UD coming back because I, I see the value uh, that he brings uh, to the locker room. UD embodies everything that our organization is about. He makes you want to do more, uh, and that's on the court or off the court. I'm so thrilled that he's back. And as we wrap up this, our first conversation of season 35, what are you looking forward to most as you get your team ready for this 2022-23 season? Yeah, the biggest thing that uh, we're talking about uh, all off season uh, and in training camp is the opportunity to go after this again. Uh, there's something special uh, about this locker room. Guys are not staying stagnant. They're reinventing themselves. The main thing is the main thing, right? Uh, and that's uh, to come together, hopefully for something that's uh, bigger than each one of us and to be able to compete for a title. We are all looking forward to this 35th Miami Heat season, and we can't wait to see how it all unfolds one game at a time with talent, tenacity, and great expectations in a very competitive Eastern Conference. Heat Nation knows their team is committed to competing for another NBA championship. And we look forward to enjoying and sharing every bounce and basket right along with you. And thank you for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I'm Eric Reed.